make them shake hands. And check this out. Same environment, same clothes, but now they're shaking hands. The detail is incredible. The text should be large and say happy birthday. And look at this. A perfect, beautiful birthday card generated in seconds. Forget Canva. First, remove her glasses. Boom, glasses gone. Then, change the color of the tie to pink. Done. And then, and this is where it gets really wild, I asked it to place a cigar in her hand. And, believe it or not, it did it. Generate a plane flying with a banner behind. The text on the banner is, love from AI Quest. And look at that. A realistic plane with a banner, perfectly rendered. Restore this photo, remove scratches, and change from black and white to colored. And it nailed it. Make her laugh. And incredibly, it did. Same girl, same photo, but now with a genuine, natural-looking laugh. Make her hold the rose. And bingo, perfect result. Same Angelina, same rose, now perfectly held in her hand. Both are taking selfies on a beach. And that produced an even better result. Hold on, what? Did you just see that? Colorizing photos with a click. Adding a Milky Way to any night scene. Even removing or adding people to photos. This isn't Photoshop magic, folks. This is something way more powerful, way easier, and get this, completely free. We're talking about Google's brand new Gemini 2.0 flash model, and it's a game changer for anyone who works with images. Or, honestly, anyone who just takes photos. This isn't just another image generator. It's a truly multimodal AI, meaning it understands images, video, audio, and text all in one place. And you can use it right now, for free, as much as you want. I'm gonna walk you through everything this incredible tool can do, from mind-blowing photo edits to generating images from scratch, and even some crazy multimodal tricks you won't believe. First things first, let's get you set up in Google AI Studio. I've linked it down below. And if you're new to AI Studio, I've got a full tutorial video right here that'll show you all its other amazing features. But today we're focusing on the new image generation power. So let's get started. Click on Create Prompt, and this is crucial. Under Model Selection, make sure you choose Gemini Flash 2.0 Experimental. Then down below, in Output Format, switch it from Text to Image and Text. Now we're ready to see some magic. So, my first experiment, I wanted to see if Gemini could handle some political figures. I typed in, Donald Trump and Putin sitting in the Oval Office. Boom! Look at this image it generated. Pretty realistic, right? But that's just the beginning. I then asked it to make them shake hands. And check this out. Same environment, same clothes, but now they're shaking hands. The detail is incredible. It's not just a sloppy copy-paste. It's a real understanding of the scene. Okay, let's get really crazy. I told it to change the background to a beach. And, whoa, there they are on a beach. But we still had that American flag in the furniture. So I prompted, remove American flag. Gone. Then, remove the table and chairs and make them stand. And bam, Trump and Putin standing on a beach looking, well, pretty serious. This is insane. But could it handle something completely unexpected? I typed in, they start fighting wearing boxing gloves. I honestly didn't know what to expect. And look at this, their sleeves are gone. They're in boxing gloves, but still wearing their suits. Okay, it's not perfect. Putin's got an extra arm there and Trump looks interesting. But remember, this is the first version. Imagine what this will be like with future updates. This is a game changer. Let's move on to something completely different. Design. I asked it to generate a design for a birthday card with a beautiful floral decoration. The text should be large and say happy birthday. Wishing you a day filled with joy, etc, etc. And look at this. A perfect, beautiful birthday card generated in seconds. Forget Canva. Why spend time manually designing when you can just tell the AI what you want? This is a massive time saver. And it's not just static images. You can even create storyboards. I prompted, generate a story about a white baby goat going on an adventure in a farm in a 3D cartoon animation style. For each scene, generate an image. And what it gave me blew my mind. It created a whole story, scene by scene, with explanations and matching 3D images. Look at this adorable little goat, Barnaby. Each scene has its own unique, charming image. This is perfect for creating children's stories or even planning out video content. Imagine the possibilities. Okay, let's see if it can handle logos. I asked it to generate me a logo for a brand name AI Quest. It's about AI. And, wow, simple but effective. It generated a clean, professional-looking logo. I tried it again, got another great option. I even asked it to change the font, and it did. This is just gonna keep getting better and better. Logo design is about to get a whole lot easier. Now, this next one is amazing. Gemini can even help you with recipes. Not just the text, but images for each step. I gave it this prompt. 
write me a recipe for Italian pizza with an image for each step, and I was blown away by the results. First, it laid out everything clearly. The prep time, the cooking time, a detailed list of all the ingredients you'll need, even separating them out for the sauce and the toppings, and it even told me what equipment I'd need. But here's where it gets incredible. It then proceeded to walk me through the entire pizza making process, step by step. And for each step, it generated a brand new original image to illustrate exactly what you should be doing. Activate the yeast. Here's a picture showing you what that looks like. Make the dough. Here's a visual guide. Knead the dough. Another picture showing you the proper technique. It continued like this, showing me how to let the dough rise, prepare the sauce, preheat the oven, shape the dough, add the sauce and mozzarella, bake the pizza, and finally garnish and serve. And the final image? a mouth-watering, perfectly baked Italian pizza. This isn't just pulling images from the internet, it's creating them on the fly, tailored to each specific step. Think about the implications of this. For food bloggers, this is a game changer. You can create visually stunning recipe posts in minutes. For cookbook creators, this is a dream come true. And for anyone who's ever felt intimidated by cooking, this is a fantastic way to learn, with clear visual guidance every step of the way. Now, a crucial test for any image generator is how well can it handle text within the image? Many AI models struggle with this, often producing garbled or nonsensical text. So I wanted to put Gemini 2.0 Flash through a rigorous test. I gave it this prompt. Generate an image where a teacher is standing in front of a blackboard. The handwritten text on the board is, don't forget to comment on this video and subscribe to AI Quest. I chose a fairly long sentence and specifically requested a handwritten style to really push its capabilities. And the result? Amazing! Not only did it generate a realistic image of a teacher in front of a blackboard, but the text was in a natural looking handwritten font and it got every single word correct. This is a huge deal because accurate text generation opens up so many possibilities, but I didn't stop there. I wanted to see how well it could handle edits to the image while maintaining the text. So I started making some unusual requests. First, remove her glasses. Boom, glasses gone. Then change the color of the tie to pink, done. And then, and this is where it gets really wild, I asked it to place a cigar in her hand and believe it or not, it did it. It seamlessly added a cigar to her hand as if she'd been holding it all along. Finally, I changed her hair color to a more modern style just to see if it could handle that too. And again, perfect result. The level of control you have with this tool is simply astounding. It's not just generating an image, it's understanding the elements within the image and allowing you to manipulate them with incredible precision. Let's push it even further. I asked it to generate a plane flying with a banner behind. The text on the banner is love from AI quest. And look at that, a realistic plane with a banner, perfectly rendered. You can even see the strings attaching the banner. This is just, wow. Okay, time for some restoration magic. I uploaded a very detailed black and white photo. I asked it to change this from black and white to a colored photo. And the result is breathtaking. It realistically colored every detail, the eyes, the beard, the sweater. It's like bringing the past back to life. And then just for fun, I told it, he is wearing a Ray-Ban. And there you go, sunglasses added, and it even mimics the Ray-Ban logo. Can it restore damaged photos? I found an old scratched black and white image and asked it to restore this photo, remove scratches and change from black and white to colored, and it nailed it. The scratches are gone, the photo is colorized, and it looks fantastic. Then, just for kicks, I asked it to make her wink in a funny way, and there it is. This AI is just too much fun. Photoshop, you better watch out. You're going to need to become prompt based to keep up. I tried another old photo, this one genuinely old, not just black and white. Colorized it, perfect. Look at the detail, the colors of the clothes, the green grass, it's all incredibly realistic. Then I decided to change the entire scene. I asked it to turn this to the nighttime with the Milky Way in the sky. And unbelievable, the same photo now at night with a stunning, realistic Milky Way. This is beyond impressive. Another old photo, probably from the 1950s. Colorized, absolutely perfect. The colors of the flowers, the shoes, everything is spot on. Then I got a little mischievous and prompted, the man is holding her head, and the AI removed his coat and literally had him holding his head. It even made some subtle changes to the rest of the photo. It's not always perfect, but it's always interesting. Let's explore how Gemini handles interactions within a scene. I started by generating an image, a female performing with empty chairs in the background. The result, a perfect stage scene, but with a completely empty audience. So I challenged the AI, add people on the chairs. 
And just like that, boom. The same performer, the same stage, the same chairs, but now filled with a realistic audience. It didn't just randomly place people. It understood the context of the chairs and populated them convincingly. This is incredible for visualizing scenes, planning events, or, let's be honest, maybe for some influencers who want to make their event look a little more popular. Next, I wanted to see how it handled manipulating existing elements in a photo. I generated a modern woman taking a selfie in a street with many people, a busy street scene, perfect for our test. Then the challenge, remove all the people from the background, and poof, they're gone. The background remains exactly the same, only the people have vanished. This is background removal on a whole new level. Then, just for a bit of fun, and to see how far I could push it, I added, add cows in the background, and, I kid you not, there they are, two cows, casually hanging out in the street. Photoshop, you've officially been put on notice. This is instant background manipulation. Now, let's get personal. I used a photo I often use in my own thumbnails and gave it a simple command, make her laugh. And incredibly, it did. Same girl, same photo, but now with a genuine, natural-looking laugh. The AI understood the context and modified the expression perfectly. Then, I tried the opposite. Make her cry. Now, it didn't quite nail the full-on crying effect, but it definitely altered something. It's clear that the AI is learning and adapting to these nuanced commands. Time to test some object interaction. I started with, generate a realistic photo of a horse. A beautiful horse appeared. Then, I uploaded a photo of my female model and issued the command, make this girl riding that horse. Now, this is where it got a little tricky. It did put a girl on the horse, but it wasn't my original model. It generated a different person. So, there's still some room for improvement in maintaining character consistency. But the core functionality, placing a figure on a horse, worked. Let's bring in a celebrity, Angelina Jolie. First, I wanted to see if it could handle a specific pose. Generate a side pose photo. And wow, a perfect, instantly recognizable side profile of Angelina. Then, the emotional test. Make her laugh. Initially, it unfortunately changed her face entirely. But this is where prompt refinement comes in. I changed the command to make her smile. And that did the trick. Same Angelina, now with a beautiful, natural smile. This shows how important it is to experiment with your wording to get the best results. Next, I wanted to see if Angelina could interact with an object. I first tried having her hold a rose by describing it that didn't quite work. It swapped her face. But then, I tried a different approach. I uploaded both the image of the rose and Angelina's photo and then prompted, make her hold the rose. And bingo, perfect result. Same Angelina, same rose, now perfectly held in her hand. This is venturing into deep fake territory, which is both incredibly powerful and, frankly, a little concerning. The ethical implications are definitely something to consider. Back to the horse. I tried again, prompting, she is riding this horse with Angelina's photo. Again, the face was a bit different, but the overall pose and composition were excellent. It's clearly improving. Then, just to see what would happen, I prompted, she is holding a tray full of burgers. And, unbelievably, it worked. Same Angelina, now holding a tray piled high with burgers. The level of detail is just remarkable. This got me thinking, could this be used for product placement? I uploaded a photo of a handbag in Angelina's photo and prompted, she is holding this bag, and it worked flawlessly. You could easily imagine this being used to create realistic marketing images. Of course, there are serious ethical considerations here. You shouldn't be doing this without proper permissions, but the capability is undeniable. Finally, let's see how Gemini handles interactions between two different celebrities. I uploaded photos of Leonardo DiCaprio and Angelina Jolie and prompted, she is taking a selfie with this man on a beach. The first attempt slightly altered their faces, but with a little persistence and a second try, it got much closer. DiCaprio was spot on, and Angelina was very recognizable. Then, I refined the prompt to, both are taking selfies on a beach, and that produced an even better result. DiCaprio holding the camera, Angelina looking right at it, it's almost scarily realistic. This technology is evolving at an incredible pace. So, what have we learned? Gemini 2.0 Flash is incredibly powerful, surprisingly versatile, and still has some room to grow. It's handling celebrities and politicians right now, but who knows if that will change in the future. But for now, it's an amazing tool that's pushing the boundaries of what's possible with AI and image manipulation.